Shalom, shalom and welcome. Welcome to White Rose Family. My name is Seminai, and these are the words I'm compelled to present before an awakening set apart nation. This represents an installment to the Judgment Warning and Instructions series. It is the 16th installment of this particular playlist, this series. My brothers and sisters, the realities that end times are upon us it's unfolding as I speak. In this segment, I want to bring your attention to fire and blood. I want to strongly encourage you to choose your position wisely, my brothers and sisters. For there will come times when you will make a choice that will prove to be a life or death decision. As end time ramps up, we can't imagine what is about to incur, concur, occur rather, Save what is revealed to us by the Almighty Father through his prophets, through his servants, through his watchmen, through us one towards another as he speaks to us. But before I get into this installment, my brothers and sisters, it is important that I read the following. Warning and disclaimer, the information contained in White Rose family represent instructions and warnings to individuals who believe they are drawn by the Almighty Creator, Yahuwah, to Yahushua Mashiach, the content presented centers around end time realities. Please be advised, this site is not intended for children under 16 years of age due to its content, and that's to be compliant with the media platforms that I use. By continuing forward, you agree to hold seminar harmless of any influence in or actions that arise as a result of watching, listening, and reviewing the content presented. The views expressed do not reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. Please note that I am not affiliated with any one or organization with similar names. With that said, Oyasharal, let us get into this installment, Fire and Blood. My brothers and sisters, throughout the ages when the Most High Father exacted discipline upon his children, we've seen the subtle to the extreme. We've even spoken of or participated in teachings and discussions about end time events, as well as events that occurred in times past that are written in the scriptures. My brothers and sisters, there is a lot of noise right now. And as it stands right now, as far as some of you may be concerned, I am a contributor to that noise as well. It is all noise, O Yasharal, until such time as the Almighty Father prove or make alive the words that I said. And if these words have life in them, your spirit will be quickened to receive the life in this message. Fire and blood, my brothers and sisters. This is not a game. Choose your position wisely. Consider these conditions that we're currently facing right now, my brothers and sisters, as I speak. As I speak on this day that is called, according to the Gregorian calendar, March 21st, 2020. Let me read the following, my brothers and sisters. And though I read these words, and though we may say this is something that applied to times past, remember the Almighty Father does not change. It's time to examine what is happening before our very eyes and choose our positions. Choose your position, O Yasharal, and choose it wisely. Consider Amos, fourth chapter, sixth verse through the thirteenth verse. It says, and I also gave you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and lack of bread in all your places, but you did not turn back to me, declares Yahuwah. This is speaking of famine, my brothers and sisters, a shortage of food. And it says we didn't turn back to him. And I also withheld rain from you, three new moons before the harvest. Then I would send rain on one city and on a on another city, I would not send rain. One part was rained upon. Where it did not rain, the part would dry up. 
Are we seeing that in California, Australia, Africa, South America? Are we seeing that on various continents? I submit to you every continent, all seven continents are experiencing some form of drought. Antarctica, which is experiencing global warming, we see a different condition. But I won't get into details, my brothers and sisters. Let me continue. Verse 8. I'm in Amos, fourth chapter, verse eight. Then two or three cities would wander to another city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. But you did not turn back to me, declares Yahuwah. I have stricken you with blight and mildew. The creeping locusts devoured many gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees, but you did not turn back to me, declares Yahuwah. I have sent among you a plague in the way of Mitzrayim. I have killed your young men with a sword along with your captured horses. I made the stench of your camps come up into your nostrils, but you did not turn back to me, declares Yahuwah. I have overthrown some of you as the Almighty One overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a burning stick plucked from the burning, but you did not turn back to me, declares Yahuwah. Therefore, I am doing this, O Yashua, and because I do this, you, Prepare to meet your almighty one, O Yasharal. For look, he who forms mountains and creates the wind and who declares to man what his thought is and make the morning darkness and who treads the high places of the earth. Yahuwah, the almighty one of hosts is his name. Yasharal, O Yasharal. In the shadows of things that are unfolding before our very eyes. What are your leaders saying? What are your mores, teachers saying? I've heard some more focus on Passover events and entertainment. I've heard some say that they're just gonna go shelter in place and enjoy themselves. My brothers and sisters, this is spiritual warfare. We are in battle. End times are ramping up, and there are individuals who dis seek to discern living orders and instructions of what must be done to prepare for what is ahead. It's not a time for entertainment. It's not a time for pleasure. It's not a time for enjoying yourself. It is a time of battle, O Yasharal. And any leader who is making light of the hand of the Almighty Father this day, will be reproved and disciplined. They will either rise up in correction and yield to reproof and repent, or they will face something very regrettable and painful. Could be sickness, could be death. These words are to you, O Yasharal. Hear these words. For as extreme conditions are rising across the face of the earth, I have yet to witness those who consider themselves leaders, community heads, camp heads, bishops and pastors, provide the instructions for Yahshua to begin to seek to discern the inward man and discern the spirit of Yahushua working in us, through us, one towards another. I have yet to see, yet hear someone instructing their flock to begin to discern the living presence of the Almighty Father and what must and will be done. I've heard different ones talk about go underground. I've even heard some saying they're going to an undisclosed location. My brothers and sisters, the scriptures speak of a final exodus. Do you think the exodus from Mitzrayim or Egypt during the days of Musha were individuals hiding and going underground? These are end times, O Yasharal. And soon and very soon, we will witness the need to turn back to him, to recognize his hand. I even see brothers and sisters that are outspoken, making light of what is happening. More so caught up on whether it's a conspiracy or how to label it, than looking at the realities of what is unfolding. 
Quarantines are unfolding. That's the reality. People are dying. That's the reality. This is a disease and a plague that is global in nature. That's the reality. There are other diseases, plagues, compounding, compounding the conditions that will humble the children of Yahuwah to rise up discerning what he has for us. Yashara, oh Yashara, let me read the following as well. Amos, eighth chapter. See, days are coming, declares the Master Yahuwah, that I shall send a hunger in the land, not a hunger for bread, nor a thirst for water, but for hearing the words of Yahuwah. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east, and they shall diligently search, seeking the word of Yahuwah, but they shall not find it. My brothers and sisters, who is able to discern the connections to these words that I have presented? Yes, my brothers and sisters, there's the literal, there's the spiritual. There are conditions and situations that will repeat itself that are similar to days of old. Seek to discern, O Yasharal. I say to you, even to this day, Amos 8, 11, and 12, there are people going across the Atlantic saying, I got this book from Israel. I got this book. This is an old ancient book I got from Africa. Searching for the correct words, searching for the instructions, searching for academic labels, black and white, instead of turning back or turning to the Almighty Father to discern what he has to say on the matter. And soon and very soon as movement ramp up, yes, forced migrations ramp up. They have begun. Soon there will be people that you once heard that were obedient, delivering words of obedience from the Almighty Father, and they will be gone. You will not be able to find them. You will not be able to hear the instructions that they present. My brothers and sisters, believe out of all the noise will come powerful chosen leaders. You see, my brothers and sisters, everyone who is outspoken in their belief, in their position of belief, everyone who is considered a teacher, a moray, a shepherd, a bishop, is echoing words. Look at those words and examine them to scripture. Is this the leader you want to listen to, to instruct you? Is this the leader you want? One that more so throw in your face that his community is right and everybody wants to come to him like he is Yahushua Mashiach. Listen to those who are saying everyone wants to come to my fellowship, my group. Listen to those that's rubbing in your face. I told you, I told you so. Listen to those that are saying, yeah, I had a vision about 9-11. I had a vision about this. I had a vision about that. I had a vision about cities. I've had a vision of tsunamis and earthquakes. I had a vision. I had a dream. Are these the words you want to hear during these end times when movement have begun? Are these the words you want to hear when preparation is needed? Are these the words you're hearing, my brothers and sisters, that are equipping you with understanding of what you must do? For in your pursuit of worship and obedience to the Almighty Father, Yahushua said, if he be lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. The movement guide, the movement power, the movement direction will come as a result of Yahushua working through us in us one towards another. Pray, O Yasharal. Powerful chosen leaders will speak with the severity, will speak with judgment, will execute living orders and instructions. The comfort that will come will come in understanding what must and what will come to be. Oh, Yasharal, Yasharal, it's time to witness coming away from the noise. And I submit to you, there were times where prophets, where watchmen of Yahuwah delivered message, messages before destruction came. Do not attack the messenger. It would be unwise. Do not dismiss the obedient of Yahuwah. It would be unwise. 
just as he opened the mouth of a donkey and it is said if necessary, he will cause the stones to cry out. Make no mistake, his promises will be fulfilled and he will speak through us one towards another. There is much to recognize, my brothers and sisters. And I submit to you, all the conditions that you see now are getting ready to ramp up. The next two catastrophic things you will see, O Yasharal, would be fire beyond what we could have thought. I submit to you, we are about to witness how the Almighty Father Yahuwah is indeed a consuming fire, for we have not turned. I have not witnessed, it doesn't mean it's about me, but I'm just saying, I have not witnessed teachers, mores, Pastors, bishops, evangelists, emphasize. It doesn't mean it's not occurring because I believe Yahuwah is working through those. I have yet to witness it. And it's not about me. I'm just stating the position. It's time to press those who listen to us into pursuing, discerning what the spirit of the Almighty Father is saying, bearing witness. We can ask questions. We can vet. That will uncover those with hidden agendas, O Yasharal. And those who have camps and communities, churches, or whatever building or congregate places that they want to label, make no mistake, they need to say that I am compelled to believe my community is to shelter in place. But I recognize there will be movement. Some of them will face widespread destruction where natural disasters are about to hit them. Earthquakes are about to hit and displace many, O Yasharal. You think displacement is occurring now as a result of this COVID-19. Pray and watch. The Most High have revealed to me that fire and blood, and when I say blood, I'm saying waterways turning into blood. Yasharal, hear these words. Things will become more and more extreme. Who's paying attention out of all the noise? When you start having quarantines and widespread economic collapse and individuals speaking short-sighted they're saying it will all be over in two or three months, 18 months. These are words to give you a false sense of security to cause you to be lazy. Just as people promote this pre-tribulation pre -tribulation rapture makes one lazy just as people water down the conditions because they can't sum up all that is occurring. Oh, Yasharal, we must, and we will discern the signs of the times. The moment for the 144,000 Hebrews, Abraham spoken of in revelation seven chapter is about to become clear as they begin to emerge from the discipline of the almighty father from the living instructions of the Almighty Father, the great multitude, and some of you may not phantom this or can receive this, but it will be a remnant when you compare it to the total world population, but a great multitude is about to emerge. And believe it or not, we will witness those who begin to discern the voice of the Almighty Father, who recognize the chosen leaders, and began to yield to the living instructions and orders before us. Yashra, O oh Yashra, allow me to continue. Regarding end time encounter, encounters. Regarding end time encounters, my brothers and sisters. Let me clean that up. Yashra, O oh Yashra. One will put a label on this man or this person is fear mongering, or you can discern the need to develop a ready mind, to have a sense of urgency, to know what must be done, to know who's calling out to you, O Yasharal. My brothers and sisters, what say you? Are you beginning to consider that we are indeed that generation 
that generation called to do some phenomenal things as we are guided by the Almighty Father. Are you prepared to witness what must be done, O Yasharal, and do it as you are guided? Are you prepared to receive that you, yes, you, O Yasharal, could be one of those who are chosen by the Almighty Father to lead, to direct, to provide guidance? My brothers and sisters, it's real. And intensity will ramp up. What say you, O Yasharal? What will you do? Have you made the decision of what must be done? Look around. Are you receiving the instruction that you desire? Are you receiving the instructions as a result? Bear with me, my brothers and sisters. There's something I need to correct here. You know, many of you may have heard me say, I don't know of any other direction to turn. When you find yourselves in a position where you're pursuing the will of the Almighty Father, Sure, there are those who say we have choice and we can run, we can hide, we can do nothing. Okay, my brothers and sisters. What I want to bring to your attention regarding end time encounters. I mentioned earlier that there is a great amount of noise and distraction. You see, Yasharal, the reason why the tribulation will be so intense is because everyone has a word they want to say. Not everyone, but a large number of people want to be heard, want to be believed, want to be followed. There are false prophets and false teachers, and the wicked one wants to divide and conquer. I say to you, Yasharal, fire and blood is what this judgment series is about because it's going to ramp up so intense that it's going to uncover the cowards. It's going to uncover those undiscerning and unlearned as to what really is unfolding and what really must be done. The intensity of the tribulation is necessary for Yasharal. Don't worry about the out of court. Don't worry about those who do not desire to worship and obey the Almighty Father. They have their appointed times in judgment. This is in response to judgment beginning at the house of Yahuwah first, as mentioned in 1 Peter 4.17. In the midst of false prophets will rise the chosen ones of Abba Yahuwah, sin in Yahushua's name. Yes, Yahushua's name. Make no mistake, my brothers and sisters, severe things are about to occur, occur that will bring about the results that will shape a set-apart awakening nation. Many are about to face life or death decisions regarding who to follow and, how, and or how to lead. Prepare to witness step-by-step -step prophetic judgments executed by the Most High Yahuwah's chosen. Yasharal, oh Yasharal, I spoke on this before, and I speak on it again. Get ready to see the restrainer move. Hear these words, oh Yasharal, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 through 7. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 through 7. Let no one deceive you in any way, 
Because the falling away is to come first and the man of lawlessness is to be revealed. The son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the almighty one or that is worship so that he sits on the sit as a, a almighty one in the dwelling place of the almighty one, showing himself that he is the almighty one. Do you not remember that I told you this while I was still with you? And now you know what restrains for him to be revealed in his time. For the secret of lawlessness is already at work only until he who now restrains come out of the midst. Get ready to see the restrainer move, O Yasharal, for I am compelled to believe that we who will fulfill those of us who will fulfill the final exodus. Yes, I know everyone want to believe they would be in that rank, and I could be wrong, but I'm speaking on what has been revealed to me and time will prove whether I'm wrong or right. But I say to you, to those who will fulfill the final exodus, to those who will be moved to a location to be the final words from the Almighty Father before widespread destruction and death hit, you see, not everyone left behind is because they were disobedient. This plan of the Almighty Father, remember, he will not leave or forsake us. So we will have instructions that say, stay in place and keep speaking the true news, the true words of the Almighty Father. And there are those he's going to say, move. And there are those that will be martyrs for your sake. And there will be those who will fall to the grave due to unbelief. Still saved but they just had problems believing because of their degree of maturity. And there will be the wicked that will face their judgment. But these words are to you, O set apart ones, the restrainer. If you look around the world right now, wants to move and enact a one world government. All the cues are ramping up. That cries out and demand a cashless society. All the cues are ramping up that demands governance from a global perspective. All the cues that the prophecies speak of are unfolding. They're at the tip of the edge, waiting for the restrainer to be moved. And I believe, my brothers and sisters, we will witness. Individuals that begin to speak with the boldness, executing judgment that the Most High has given them to speak. We will witness power and might, and we will witness those who have been endowed with the instructions to deliver to the world leaders to let the people of Yasharal, the people of Yahuwah go. to begin to assist with our movement. And I will speak shortly in another recording on some things that was revealed to me within the last 48 hours regarding movement of Yasharal. Right, Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, I tell you this. If I am a servant of the Almighty Father Yahuwah, sin in Yahushua's name, I say to you, we will soon witness systematic, more than one, a convergence of volcanoes breaking out. We will witness media showers in the coming days ahead, O Yasharal. There will be fire. There will be fires, plural. It must occur with magnitude to get the attention. Remember I read Amos where he said, you did not return to me after sending famine, pestilence, and disease when you did not turn to me. You see, a wave needs to go and will go forward of individuals seeking his face in the name of Yahushua, the Almighty Father Yahuwah's face, turning to him and asking, what must I do? What is expected of me? And do it. Yielding, leading, guiding, working, as the spirit flows through us, we will witness water turning into blood. And I believe, O oh Yasharal, it is my position that the Most High is turning the waters to blood to let the world know his promised vengeance 
is unfolding for the innocent blood that has been spilt. The many abortions, the individuals who've been killed, who have been innocent, the innocent blood that's been spilt. The Most High will show the world what they've purchased when we begin to see rivers turning into blood. And for Yashara, oh Yashara, do not fret. For the Most High has promised things to come. It is my position that we, that they will be, mo that there will be, that there will be most extreme, that there will be most extreme times ahead, my brothers and sisters. And I want to clean that up. Bear with me. Oh, Yashara, I am almost done. My brothers and sisters, well, I'll say halfway done. I want to clean this up because it's in print. And since I am in the position to do this, I don't do video editing. It's my position that there will be it's my position that we will see the most extreme conditions and events. Starting from the ring of fire. Okay, I believe that's what I want. From the ring of fire and never these are occurring wrap up. Bear with me, oh Yashara. And let's I, like I said, I'm, I, I said I'm almost done. I, please forgive me. Uh, halfway through it, oh Yashara. Halfway through it. My brothers and sisters, did you ever believe that you would have been one of those to witness what is unfolding? Did you ever believe that you would witness conditions as they are, as I speak? It's not about me. It's not about you. But it is about worshiping and obeying he who is the creator and giver of life. It is about being obedient to he who is the almighty one. Yahuwah is his name. And it's through his word manifest in the person of Yahushua that we are able to receive life and life everlasting. My brothers and sisters, there are those who prefer to just say Yah, who prefer to just say Yahuwah. And and. Their actions is almost as though they're saying, I'm playing it safe, so there would be no argument, no debate. So they prefer to just say, yeah. End times are here. And to those who seek and desire refuge, those who seek and desire the knowledge that the Most High would have for them, we would recognize the need to lift up and demonstrate the power and might of the Almighty Father Yahuwah through Yahusha HaMashiach. Yahusha, O Yasharal. And while those will, there are those among us while there are those among us, O Yasharal, who will say the name doesn't matter, I submit to you, O Yasharal, it does. And here's my, just, just hold that thought for a minute, my brothers and sisters. Well, let me say it since it's here. Here's my belief. For there to be unity, there must be oneness in name. 
that brings about the guidance we need. Yashra, I also want you to know this. If you were to take several glasses and fill them with water, that water being the word of Yahushua, and you were to begin to examine them and vet them and remove the dirt, the impurities, the things that are wrong, how much water is left? And he who provides the instructions that are systematically reflecting step by step all that is written, he who provides the most instruction under the anointing of the Almighty Father that makes alive the instructions that are given him or her, then you should strongly consider drawing close to such a one or individual. Pray and watch. There will be no compromise. Those who gather together will gather together under the instructions and guidance of the set apart chosen leaders of Yasharal. My brothers and sisters, it's my position that we will see the most extreme conditions and events starting from the ring of fire and diverge, separate, going east and west with great magnitude. In other words, here's my instruction to you, O Yasharal, if you want to be clear of the signs of the times. Look at the ring of fire that circles the Pacific Ocean. There is a virtual line called the International Date Line. And I say to you, O Yasharal, the most extreme conditions of fire, volcanic activity, and waters turning to blood will begin at the perimeters of the ring of fire and begin to migrate towards the promised land. So if you are east of the International Date Line, you will see it forcing migrations eastward. If you are west of the International Date Line, it will be begin to force migrations westward. Like a closing scroll, O Yasharal, things will get intense to prove that we are in the presence of a plan unfolding by so great a one, Yahuwah the Almighty Father. My brothers and sisters, end times are here. There will be a great divide. Consider these words, O Yasharal. Matthew 10, 34 to 36, it reads, Do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword, for I have come to bring division. A man against his father, a daughter against her mother, daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law, and a man's enemy are those of his household. Yasharal, O Yasharal, please know this, my brothers and sisters. To wear the title of a set-apart nation comes with actions that will reflect he who is the creator of life. The great divide has begun. 1 Corinthians 14, 33 says, For the Almighty One is not the Almighty One of disorder, but of peace, as in all the assemblies of the set-apart ones. My brothers and sisters, we must discern the face, the actions of promised discipline, vengeance, and wrath. For there are those who falsely accuse the obedient ones as bringing disorder. There are obedient ones that will execute judgment. And I say to you, O Yasharal, believe end times will prove to make known Abba Yahuwah's chosen leaders. Yes, there are wicked, unlearned, undiscerning, rebellious individuals that stir up strife and confusion. And they are not among the obedient, but there are the obedient who execute judgment that brings a shakening, that brings a stirring, that reveals the life and what is meant by iron sharpening iron. Yashara, my brothers and sisters, are we not ready? Are we at the very least, are we preparing with a ready mind, body and soul to witness the Most High Father use his chosen leaders his chosen children to echo the final words 
before the physical return of Yahushua Mashiach. What say you, O Yasharal? One of the most cataclysmic conditions that is occurring right now is the coronavirus, COVID-19. Let me give you a brief update. My brothers and sisters, I have spoken way before conditions came about. If you've been following me or listened to my recordings, you'll see that I spoke of the closing scroll before the conditions have gotten the way they are. Make no mistake, mass exodus movement is going. States are shutting down their borders, closing people within. Do you believe there will be a final exodus? And if so, I say to you, I submit to you, O Yasharal, there will be set apart leaderships. And I believe the Almighty Father have made known to me one incentive that will make the world let the people of Yahuwah go. And that is an incentive that will bring about the flattening of the curve so that the world can have the capacity to service those. There isn't an answer to this. And I want you to stay tuned, my brothers and sisters, because the Almighty Father revealed to me, and I'm quite sure he revealed to others, but I will mention it, O Yasharal, very soon. There is a solution to flattening the curve. And we will witness, just as in days of old, how things and conditions and situations occurred so that the Almighty Father may be magnified by dis demonstrating what must be done. Currently, O Yasharal, current reported as of March 21st, 9.56 a.m. And it's been over an hour Eastern time, my brothers and sisters, and these numbers may have changed dramatically already, but as of 9.56 a.m., according to the worldometers, Dot info, coronavirus, backslash coronavirus. Worldwide, there was over 286,000 people infected. Number of deaths were 11,888. In the United States alone, and the numbers for the United States are included in the totals, but in the United States alone, there were 19,781 infected. That's reported with 276 deaths. My brothers and sisters, the velocity, the trajectory and speed of these numbers will increase as tests are made, as individuals are even getting sick and dying. Make no mistake, those who are trying to water, water it down by saying, oh, more people die of pneumonia, more people, oh, it's a conspiracy. Ye who are drawn, you who are drawn by the Almighty Father, receive these words, O Yasharal. It would be a mistake to wait till the numbers pass, surpass the number of deaths in pneumonia or the flu, and then decide you want to respond in that. Look at the trajectory and the speed of changing conditions. And don't just look at coronavirus, COVID-19. Consider Ebola still exists, measles still exists, diabetes, cancers, leukemia, muscular dystrophy, all the diseases that have come to be that have not been cured. We don't hear much talk about it, Oyashirah, because the coronavirus has taken center stage. There are no known cures, my brothers and sisters. Remember Isaiah eleven twelve, which talks about gathering Yasharal from the four corners of the earth. My brothers and sisters, it's important for us to be wise in choosing our leadership. Will you remain with the person you believe is leading you? Listen to their instructions. Are they accessible? Are they preparing you for movement? Some movement would be from one point to the next to the next and it would be intermittent meaning I move to this city for a moment to the next city or province or state or country and some movement will be on a trajectory to be completed by the set apart mountain of the almighty father Yahuwah, the true Mount Sinai 
which is currently named Jabal Allah's. There will soon be leaders chosen from the Almighty Father, given specific directions as it relates to coming together in unity what must and will come to be, and their words will be followed with power. If and only if I am a servant of the Almighty Father in the name of Yahushua, witness what is about to unfold, O Yasharal, and begin to ask questions, begin to seek answers, begin to understand what must be done when you receive the answers. My brothers and sisters, yes, and times are here. There will be final decisions. We will understand that with these decisions, there is no rewind. There are no retakes. There are no give me another chance. Our emotions, our mental state, our physical state, all our spiritual state, all, all, who are physically alive will begin to experience the most extreme challenges ever imagined. But trust this, O Yasharal, this plan belongs to the Most High Father. My brothers and sisters, prepare to witness the evidence and proof that you desire to see. Will you be in position? And will you respond? Consider Isaiah 43, 5 through 7. It's also a contributor regarding the final exodus. But listen carefully to these words. Do not fear, for I am with you. I shall bring your seed from the east and gather you from the west. Many people don't realize, my brothers and sisters, it says seed. My brothers and sisters, I'm going to say something, and I said it a long time ago, many years ago, and I said it again. The final exodus, I'm compelled to believe, will be mostly youth, mostly, mostly young people. There will be some elders, counselors. There will be some leaders that will be of age. There will be some seniors, but mostly young people, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Many of you don't want to hear these words. Some of you will receive these words and begin to instruct your children to prepare to take a trip that you will not be able to go with them. Some of you will speak to your children and prepare them with instructions that they may be left behind, that you may be one of the caretakers, the leaders, the elders, the counselors, to help manage the young who will be the larger number, the greater number in this final exodus. I shall bring your seed. Now, someone will say, that means Abraham's seed. People are going to interpret this whichever way they want. Look around, O Yasharal. You see the age of one another. We have been conditioned by whatever nation or country we are in our thought processes, our mental faculties, our cognitive factors, the functions of our brain have made many of us stubborn, unwilling to be as new wine. We are old wineskins, some of us, some of us aren't. And I'm speaking in terms of the ability to listen, to yield, obey, and proceed as the Almighty Father so orders. Let me continue. Isaiah 43, 6 says, I shall say to the north, give them up to the south. Do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar, my daughters from the ends of the earth. All those who are called by my name, not multiple names, my name, in whom I have created, formed, even made for my esteem. You see, my brothers and sisters, there are those whom the Most High have assigned to fulfill specific tasks. And though we may want to interpret this to make us feel good or to make it acceptable, 
the realities will prove the words I presented to you are true. You see, my brothers and sisters, and the adults of age, the seniors, though they may be few compared to the multiple youth that will be gathered in the final exodus, they would understand what it is to remember where they've fallen, where we've fallen, and repent. They will understand the need to understand and discern and reflect what it is to be born again, to identify where their stubbornness came to be, and they will repent to be among the ranks of the final gathered. Yasharal, Yasharal, there are those who will dispel these words. Make no mistake, proof will come. Evidence and proof will rise. Amos 9, 8, and 9, 9. You can look at the literal, you can look at the spiritual, you can look at the cyclical. Cyclical meaning things that have occurred in times past, similar conditions will occur going forward. But make no mistake, these are the last days before the physical return of Yahushua Mashiach. Amos 9, 8, and 9, 9. Look, the eyes of Master Yahuwah are on the sinful reign, and I shall destroy it from the face of the earth, except I do not completely destroy the house of Yaakov, declares Yahuwah. For look, I am commanding, and I shall sift the house of Yasharal among all the nations as one sifts with a sieve, yet not a grain falls to the ground. Yasharal, oh Yasharal, this sifting that will occur will be witnessed by those who are directed by the power and might of the Almighty Father to do the sifting as the Father orders. And all that he has ordered that has life, not one grain will fall to the ground. Not one word will come to him empty. Remember Isaiah 55, 11, 55, 55, 11. His words will perform. They won't fall to the ground. They will not return to him empty. This sifting is a sorting. As we witnessed the 144,000 in great multitude begin to come together. Fire and blood, O Yasharal, the intensity of end times. will ramp up. Choose your position, O Yasharal. And those who have the vision to see will receive the instructions from the Almighty Father and echo the words to prepare for what is to come. More than anything, O Yasharal, let us discern the inward man within us that is connected with the spirit of Yahuwah in Yahushua's name. Let us discern and listen to what he's saying. And listen, not just listen, but obey. Know when to move, when to be still. Know what questions to ask. Know what it means to be a participant in iron sharpened iron. For a great set-apart awakening nation will rise up beyond what we have imagined, O Yasharal. Unity will come. On that note, O Yasharal, stay tuned, for I will soon present a recording that speaks to the world leaders that speak to Yasharal regarding flattening the curve. For I believe, O Yasharal, there will be multiple other conditions that demand the flattening of the curve. This is just one condition. Pray and watch. You see, even in economic conditions, even in destruction, what we are witnessing now, my brothers and sisters, is conditions that heighten our awareness to the words. Capacity. Thresholds. My brothers and sisters, I heard a leader of a community boast on how he has food and he's going to give some away. And then when he run out, he'll just go out and kill a cow and go through the process and he'll have more meat. As though conditions will not 
last to where he'll run out of food. See, he himself is kicking the can down the road. Even those who think bullets and guns is the solution will run out of bullets. Look around, O Yasharal. Thresholds. If you're sheltering in place, eventually you will run out of food. For the famine that has come to us, this generation, is at the hand of the Almighty Father. His discipline. Rise up and receive the living instruction. Know this, that there are thresholds, there are capacities, there are limitations. Things will run out. Things will end. But the living instructions from the Almighty Father will not. The directions from the Almighty Father will not end. Yes, some of us will face physical death and we will go to the grave and await resurrection time. But some of us will endure to the very end. What say you, O oh, listener to these words? On that note, I say again, if I am a servant of the Almighty Father in the name of Yahushua, prepare to witness extreme fires from volcanoes and meteor showers happening as well as waterways turning to blood. Prepare to witness it beginning around the perimeter of the ring of fire, forcing man back to where life began. In the name of Yahushua, I come to you, O Yasharal. There is much more to come. I salute your patience, your pursuit of set of partners. I pursue I salute your desire to identify and do the will of the Almighty Father. Which mu with much love, my brothers and sisters, remember love brings severe conditions as well as warm, fuzzy, comforting conditions. Love brings about an intensity that we cannot begin to recognize how powerful it is. But we will grow into it as the spirit of Yahushua works in us, through us, one towards another. On that note, O oh, Yasharal, I bid you much shalom. And I say shalom for that comfort and peace will come in understanding what is happening, what must and will come to be. Take care, my brothers and sisters. I believe in due season. I will meet some of you. Some of you, we will come together. And there are those who will reject these words. Make no mistake, the Almighty Father will prove those whom he's using. He will prove who are his chosen ones. On that note, shalom.